So in this video, we are going to see about the binary division. First, we will see with the numerical example and then the corresponding uh, binary, uh, it is decimal number division, we will see. Then the respective binary division also we will see. So let us take this example, 55 divided by 5. Now, how you will be doing? First, I will start taking the, we will start taking the uh, de uh, decimal numbers or whatever the number, digits from left to right. So first we will take a single number. Now we will check whether it is greater than or smaller. This number must be greater or equal to. Then only you can divide. Or else you have to take, if it is smaller than this divisor, this is dividend and this, this is divisor. If it is smaller than this, then you have to go for, you have to take the next digit also. And then together you have to consider for division. Also, when, when we take the first digit, it is equal to. So now how many times it comes in one time. Okay, now it is one time. Okay. 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 If this is one time, then I take five. Okay. So here is five and it is zero. Five minus five. We have to subtract this. So then bring down the next digit. Five. Now, for this, it will one time. Okay. So, I should get here and then subtract. Now, this is the answer. Okay, this is how you do the division. That is, you start taking single, single digit from the left. And then when that, when the first digit is not uh, divisible, then you have to take the, consider the next digit also. Together, you have to consider and so on. Okay. Now, uh, what is the equivalent of this? The equivalent of 55 is in binary is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. And then 5 equivalent is 101. So this is 55 and this is 101. Now we have to, we are going to divide it. You see. So now we'll divide this. So when you divide this, okay, we'll consider the division. So what happens? Uh, here we take this value. First we'll take the one. Now, now we'll take this one. As I said, as we have seen in the numerical division, we take one by one digit from left. So one we take, so th this one is small, isn't it? One is lesser than one not one. So what you have, to, you have to uh, take the digits in such a way that it must be, whatever you are taking here, it must be greater than this one not one. Then only it will be divisible. So one is smaller. So what you do is you substitute the zero here and zero here. And then you subtract these two digits. You get one. Then you take the next digit. This is nothing but one. When you take this digit, this is still one one is lesser than this. So it cannot be divisible. So you substitute a zero there. Then you take the digits zero. Now one one zero. So one one zero is greater than one not one. This is equivalent of five and this is equivalent of six. So it is greater. One one ten is one one zero is greater than one not one. Now it is divisible. So this is nothing but one. So here you put one not. Okay, one. Now we have to subtract. How you will be doing the subtraction? If you know the binary division directly, you can binary subtraction directly. You can do that, or else you can go for a two's complement and then add with this number. You have to find the two's complement of this number 
and you have to add it with this number. So now we'll find the two's complement. Now we'll take this number. Always for the divisor only, we'll find the two's complement because that is what we are going to subtract. So for this, what is the one's complement? It is zero, one, zero. So two's complement is adding one with this. So zero, one, one. So this is what our two's complement of the divisor. So now how you will do the subtraction of this is, I'll write it here, one, one, zero, then zero, one, one. Instead of this, you, you are finding its two's complement and adding. So what will you get? Yeah, one, zero, here carry. So here also zero and one is the div of the carry. So what is the answer now? Zero, zero, one. So substitute here. Leave of the carry. So, oh. oh, this also has gone. This. Okay, now we'll see here uh, up to this. So one we have the answer here. This is a partial remainder. Still more digits are there. Now we have to do some more thing. When we take zero, zero, 001, it is not, it cannot be divided by 101 as it is a small number. So what you do, you bring down another number. that is one here, the next digit. But when you see that, that is also, So uh, you will bring the another number. This is also smaller than 101. So what you do, we are going to bring another number. Since two numbers are brought down at a time, you have to add a zero here. So now you bring this one. Okay, now triple one. Definitely this is bigger number than 101. So it is one time. And then you have to subtract this 101. Okay, from this. So already we know we have the two's complement of this number. So you have to add the two's complement with this. Instead of subtracting 101, we are finding its two complement. The two's complement of this is this. So with that, we add with this value. So now that is equal to subtraction of this minus this. Okay, so one one, it is zero here. So it is one, 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 it is one, one, and that is a carry. One, one, it is zero, and that is a carry. Two's complement, you leave out the carry. So now the answer is zero. That is partial answer. Partial reminder, you can say. So it is this. Now still more digits are there. Till all the digits in the dividend is over, we have to uh, do the division. Now till this, we have got this. Now this one, you brought down here. Okay, so now what happens? Now you check. Since both numbers are equal, it is divisible. So it is by one and you write down that number. Now both one not one, so it is zero. The answer is zero. Now if you check this, this is equivalent of five and one zero one one is equivalent of 11, which is our numerical value. So this is how you do that division. Now let us take another example. Um, we consider another example. Let's take that. One, one, forty seven and eleven. Okay. Now this is the number. Now, now we are going to do the division okay 147 so if you take one it is not divisible because one is smaller than 11 so what you do we take the two digits so when we take the two digits and do that one time 
cos 1 tenth. So, and this is 3. So, I mean that is 3. And then 7. So, 7 we bring down. 3, 3 is smaller. So, it cannot be divisible. So, we bring the next digit to So, to make it as a bigger number than this. Now, it becomes bigger number 37. And it is 3 times. And here is 33. And then when you subtract this, you get the value. So this is your uh, reminder and this is your quotient. So if you write the equivalent of uh, binary digits of this, we have this value. 1, 0, 1, 1. It is equivalent of 11. And then equivalent of 147 is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now we'll do that. Okay, now this. So now what happens? We take the first digit. No, it is smaller. So what we do is we add zero. Okay, second digit, when you take second digit also, it is smaller. So you add simply add zeros. Third digit also it is zero. So when you take three digits, one zero zero, it is lesser. So we add zero. Now we take the four digits, one, zero, zero, one. Still it is smaller. So we add the next zero. Now we have to take the five digits because up to four digits, this number is smaller, lesser than this. So we have to take the four, uh, fifth digits. Now we take the, we consider the fifth digits and we do the subtraction. That is one, 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 0 and 1. Okay. Now, definitely this will go because this is a bigger number. So, you add 1 here uh, and then you have to find the two's complement of this in order to subtract. Now, we have to subtract. Now, what is the two's complement of uh, 1, 0, 1? Since we are having the five digits here. Okay. 1 is here. If there is 0, no problem. We take only for this. But since we have them five digits. The equal five digit has to be considered for subtraction. So both the digit must be the number of digits in both the subtrahan and subtract should be the same. So here there is only four, whereas here we have taken five. So the previous, the uh, most significant width you add zero and then together you find the two's complement. So the value for which we have to find two's complement is this. Okay. So now. When you find the two's complement, it is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. This is 1's complement. Then two's complement is 1, 0, 1, 0, and 1. Okay. Now, this is our two's complement. This has to be added with this five digits. So after adding, what will be getting? 0, 1, 0, then 1, 0, 1, 0, and 1. Now, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Two's complement when there is a carry, leave up the carry. So, this is our remainder, partial remainder. So, I'll substitute it here. 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, what happens after this? We have four, right? So now the next, when you see, check this and this, this is bigger and this is smaller. So in order to make this as a bigger, we have to bring down the next digit. So the next digit is nothing but zero. Now, if you check this, definitely this is smaller than this. This is bigger number. So one time it goes one time, and then we write that number. One, zero, one, one. Here, only up to four digits we have this one. These two digits are zero. So we can't leave out the zero. So now what we can do is so now what we can do is we can find two's complement for this four digit alone. Here, even if we put zero, here also zero. So there is no need to consider that. So we'll take only these four digits and these four digits. So in which case our uh, Two's complement will be up to this one day. 
okay so let us consider this 1 0 1 1 then it's one's complement is 0 1 0 0 then two's complement is adding one we have this 0 1 0 1 this what this so now we have to add these two that is now what is the value one 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 zero that is this value okay with this two's complement zero one zero one now add these two one one zero and then one carry so it is zero and then one leave up the carry so the answer the partial remainder of this is one one again now, what is this? Okay. Right. Now we have found the answer to this. Now we have, and already we have added one here for that. So now bring down this one because this one one is smaller than this. So you have to make this to be a bigger. So we bring down one here. But when you check, still this is smaller. So we have to bring the next digit also. So we at the time we have brought on two digits. So here we add a zero. And then now, now definitely this is bigger. So we put a one here and then we do subtraction. One zero and one. Now we already know we have found two complement of this. So one, one, one. So here, one, 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 and then what is the two's complement? Zero, one, zero, one. Zero, one, zero, one. Now you add one, one, zero, zero, then here one is one, one, zero, one. Leave up. So now you substitute this partial reminder. Now, we get the value, this is equal to 30. Okay, this is 147, this is 11. Answer is 13, it is nothing but, this is the 13. And the remainder is four. This is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is how you do the binary, binary division. 